Alexis said goodbye to his old life. Now he feels able to accept the way things are now. This new world, his new life. He's a man with no home. Nowhere he needs to be. No one waiting for him. So he's going to hit the road. And he doesn't know when he's going to stop. Yes, indeed. Now that Alexi has literally made himself homeless, he's got nowhere to be. He's got no home. So he's just going to hit the road. He's just going to go on one big adventure, one big battle to survive. And uh, he's just going to keep going on the road. He doesn't know when he's going to stop. He's, you know, full on nomad. Eventually, he would like to find an ideal place, somewhere that is secluded but has access to uh, a river or a lake somewhere he can fish somewhere he can lay traps somewhere he can live off the land but first he's got to find it so just to the north of Dolgoprodny there is a small island it is accessible by a bridge that's where he's going to start that's where he's going to start but first before he leaves Dolgoprodny behind possibly forever and just to the north there is a uh, supermarket and he's in desperate need of food so he's gonna clear the area of zombies he's gonna hit up the supermarket and then we're gonna check there's a lot of zombies and then we're gonna check out this supermarket we got some work to do first though hey well Lex is going with the police baton just takes a couple of hits to take down most zombies now that, that looks like a useful weapon Let's grab that. So just a couple of blocks west. That's where the supermarket is. We're just going to drive right on up, clear the area of zombies, and hopefully walk out there with a whole load of food. Okay, well, uh, Alex is literally having to retreat because, of course, right where he wants to go, there is an absolutely massive horde of about two dozen zombies. So he's going to have to really, really, really fight. Uh, to get a bite to eat today and there's going to be s okay yeah that's uh that's quite a lot coming okay well alex is ready for it he's popped a chill pill we've got the the spear probably not gonna last very long uh, but we've let the zombies come to us so that will hopefully string them out spread them out and hopefully uh, that spear did not last long hopefully alexi can take them out just as quick as they come But here they come. Perhaps not. Let's see if we've got another spear. Okay, so Alexi's been pushed back an awful long way. But as I said, it helps to string them out. We've got another spear with hunting knife. It's probably not going to last a couple of hits. But let's see what we can do. It does look like some of the zombies have lost interest. Man, there's a lot of zombies nearby. A lot more than I was expecting. doing the business with the spear let's retrace our steps okay so Alexis fought his way back to the truck I think we're gonna have to just go in the rest of the way on foot because there's a lot more zombies uh, we don't want to cause too much uh, attention so we're just gonna there's the spear gone again it's just a it was a bit of a weird movement it's just a short ways up uh, let's go to the good old trusty police baton and let's continue to push north. Well, Alexi was just sort of strolling around as though he was taking a nice afternoon stroll in the park. And yeah, you can see uh, what's happened as a result of that. We've got another six, seven, eight zombies to take care of. Hopefully with the police baton, Alexi will make short work of it. Certainly uh, with that beta blocker, uh, he is staying nice and calm, which is what we want. Hey, that police baton. Oh, I just love it. Now, Alexi's managed to grab one more police baton. We've stumbled across a police officer uh, just before we jumped in the van and started the drive. So we've got another spare police baton. That's, that's going to come in real handy, it seems. Okay, so we've gone back with the spear. We're making pretty slow progress. Yeah, I was about to say that spear is not going to last long. 
I mean, it's taken out a couple of zombies. You've had some use of it. There's a lot of zombies up ahead. Um, this is a lot more hard work than uh, Alexi was expecting. But also, it's definitely the right decision to go in on foot. It would have been probably just attracted a group of two dozen, three, four dozen, who knows how many zombies if it had just driven on up. Okay, well, Alexi has finally made it. That building just there, that's the supermarket. And there's also a small food store there. There is a lot more work still to be done with clearing the zombies. Okay, so we've got a group of five or six zombies. Hopefully this will be the last little bit of work that Alexi has to do before he can finally get some food in, in his belly. This guy is having to work so hard just to get a little bit of food. Thought these days were behind him. Okay. Right, now I think Alexi's now that is an interesting addition to Alexis' armory. But now I think the area is clear. Now we can get the uh, loot bags. Now we can get the truck. And uh, now we can get, hopefully, what could be uh, several days' worth of food supplies. A real vital find for Alexi. But, of course, there are more zombies. Where did these guys come from? Okay, well... Definitely another couple more ahead, and Alexis showing signs of a little bit of exertion. So he might just sit in the cab of the truck for a little bit, catch his breath before we press north. Okay, so while Alexi catches his breath, gets some stamina back, let's just take the moment just to have a brief recap of where we are, the state of play. Alexi's now survived one month, one day. He has had to fight and kill 1,963 zombies. There is another zombie coming. Make this 1,964. Now his skills, he's got some good boosts in his combat skills. So things are really, really coming on. We've got a, another submachine gun with a magazine. Let's just take it. Let's just take the whole thing for now. Okay, so Alexi's just about ready to finally drive up north and take the reward for all that effort. He must have already killed 50, 60 zombies today. And he hasn't had a bite to eat. But there's his skills. Uh, now, there's quite a bit of skill development here, even though he's barely read any books. But look at those fighting skills, the maintenance, the spear, the short blade and the short blunt. That's where he gets the boost. That's where things are coming along nicely. But the spear and the long blunt is doing pretty well as well. It really shows uh, that he's had to kill a lot of zombies. Hey, Alex is having to put in a real shift today. Uh, it's taken so long just to fight to this point. I'm kind of convinced that the next building he steps into is going to have an alarm. Okay, I think Alexi's got a moment here just to get in. Yes, no alarm. Ooh, okay. That is unexpected. Okay, well, that is that place searched. There was a few bits of food, but it was all rotten. So Alexi's got more work to do yet before he can have a bite to eat. Okay, so Alexi's finally almost made it to the front door. Now, there are... Is there a zombie behind? No. There seems to be some zombies stuck on the pipes. So let's put them out of their misery. Oof, almost got snuck up on there. There's always another zombie. But there we are, the old one too. Knock them down, take them out. Okay, we're in. We're in. And look at all that. Look at those shelves. They are absolutely full of... <laughs> well, I was about to say light bulbs. And lug wrenches, but no, there is some food. Let's fill that belly. Okay, well, Alexi feels a million times better. He's had a, about six lots of junk food, and he's still going. And now, yes, there we go. He's well fed. But now he's got a full belly. Let's get some bags and fill those up too. Yeah, this is exactly what Alexi needed. A lot of food. Okay, well, Alexi really is finding a lot of food finally this will keep him going for several days but he's having to be really quiet because he can hear zombies moving around all around him but look 
how full those shelves look. This could be an absolute mother load of food. Okay, well that is the place pretty much searched. I think this is part of a big apartment building, so we really need to be cautious. There could be a lot of zombies everywhere, but that's what we're looking at. A lot of junk food. Alexi could pile on the pounds, but you know, it's better than nothing. Let's take that water bottle. So today's not really gone as planned. Alexi was hoping, expecting to be on the island by now, but uh, he's still stuck in Dolgoprodny and there's been a lot of fighting to be done just to get into this one location to loot it as you can see with all the zombie bodies it is late alexi is tired it is dark let's slowly make our way back to the van and let's fall back south near where all uh, well near alexi's burnt down family home let's find somewhere safe to sleep and we'll hit the road first thing in the morning okay well it's another morning alexi found somewhere safe to sleep it felt rather weird this is the neighbor's house. This is the neighbor's house, but it's somewhere safe. That's the important thing. It is time for Alexi to hit the road. It's time for Alexi to have a smoke. But first, let me just show you on the map what is the plan. Uh, that's where we are. That's the supermarket. That's where we've cleared. But just north out of Dolgoprodny, we've got this island here. These all look like tower blocks. It could be a lot of trouble. Uh, but it's not too long a drive. It is time for Alexei to put Dolgoprodny behind him. Okay, so we're about to get onto the bridge. This is where we find out whether this bridge is completely blocked by traffic or whether it is passable. This is a good start. This, this looks okay. Okay, well the bridge was completely and utterly clear of vehicles. There was barely any zombies, just the one zombie. Who knows what is ahead. We're gonna drive to the end of this road and then it sort of takes a sharp turn west. But we're gonna get out there, we're gonna go in on foot. We don't know what the zombie numbers are gonna be like. We don't know what dangers await Alexi, so let's not be too reckless. Okay, so this is that sharp turn. And I was going to say, let's keep going until we see some zombies, because this is actually quite a long walk. But here are the zombies. So let's get to work. We've got just a couple. Is there a zombie behind? I'm always convinced there's a zombie right behind me. We've got more work to do. Let's clear the area and let's press on. We're going on foot. Wow, 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 would you look at that beautiful piece of steel, a katana, absolutely, oh, isn't that beautiful? Okay, so Alexis is making slow but steady progress into town. There are not big groups of zombies, which is reassuring. That will probably soon change them. We're going to keep the katana when things are really bad when there's a really really big group or Alex is tired now is not the time just got a few zombies here and there and we can just as easily quickly and take quickly and easily take them out with the police baton hopefully we should be getting into town very soon okay well Alexis made it to the edge of town it's been pretty straightforward nothing more than a couple of dozen zombies yeah, I know that that is these days pretty straightforward for Alexi. Now the first building on the map, I think it looks like it's going to be a gas station. So let's check it out. Okay, well you can see, yeah, we're in town now because there's, yeah, there's another great big massive tower block. Not great big massive groups of zombies just yet. And hopefully that is some sort of uh, food store somewhere that Alexi can find some valuable supplies. Okay, wow. Yeah, that's that's not looking promising. That doesn't look like that's going to be valuable supplies. Could be a mechanic store though. Ooh, that zombie just totally went right through <laughs> that container there. That almost caught Alexi by surprise. Okay, well, this is a pleasant surprise. This looks like some sort of doctor's surgery. I'm not liking this access here does does have an upstairs this could be actually really 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 
good place for Alexi to stay. If there's an apartment upstairs, it could be absolutely ideal. Yeah, Alexi's not really wanting to go upstairs just yet. There is a lot of zombies. There's at least two zombies banging on the door and you don't know what's at the top of the stairs. So let's just take a moment just to grab all of this valuable medical supplies and hopefully by then they would have broken down the door. Yeah, I think they did just break down the door. So let's get back out in the corridor, see what comes downstairs. So Alexa's done quite a bit of shouting and no zombies have come downstairs so not quite sure what is going on there. It's still early afternoon so the area seems pretty clear of zombies. Maybe there's a back door but let's go back and retrieve the vehicle and drive it on into town and hopefully the zombies will come downstairs and come outside and make it much easier for Alexi to deal with. Okay so we're back at this sort of what well, must be I guess some sort of doctor's surgery. With uh, hopefully some accommodation upstairs is still no zombies come down the stairs. So that might mean they've broken through one door and are then just sort of standing around. So we can't put it off forever. I'm hearing a couple of zombies, maybe. So let's just take a step back from the door, see what comes out. Hopefully it's not six or seven okay yeah, just the two and there's the door they broke down and that's why they didn't come down the stairs they broke down one and then i don't know needed a rest or something but this this is a perfect staging point a perfect fallback position it's a bit of a shame uh, that the uh, the doors are broken we've got a broken door and a broken window downstairs so it's a little less protection for Alexi, but this, this is, this is just perfect. Okay, well Alexi's had a little bit of a rest. He could do with a little bit of a wash, but water is a really precious resource. Let's carry on going on in foot into town and uh, see what we can find. Okay, so it's time for Alexi to go exploring. Now we're not gonna bother uh, with the large tower blocks uh, there could be some, you know, in every apartment there could be a couple of few bits of food so potentially a lot of loot but they are i mean alexi just sees them as death traps lots of narrow corridors blind corners doorways with who knows how many zombies behind but we're gonna carry on going in on foot we're gonna start on the east side of town and we're just gonna see what there is hopefully we can find some good locations okay so we've we've gone down a, a block and i've got to what is that noise Ooh, where did you come from and i've got to say there is not a lot of zombies around there are not big groups uh, there's probably going to be a lot of tower blocks in this place and apartment blocks and as i said alexis is not looking to go inside there so we might not might not actually need to spend more than a couple of days in this town before Alexi thinks of moving on. Okay, well this is interesting. I mean Alex is absolutely surrounded by huge, huge tower blocks. And he's not really surrounded by huge, huge numbers of zombies, so could actually make quite a lot of progress in exploring and investigating this town just today. Okay, well Alexi has walked around a couple of blocks now and then he's just big apartment block after big apartment block. He's kind of covered a quarter of the town already and he's really kind of shocked just how few zombies there actually are. And that might change at any moment though because there are some big buildings all around. It's been pretty straightforward so far. So it's starting to get dark and as we know Alexi does not like the dark. This this is this town so far. Apartment block after apartment block after apartment block. But we've searched quite a lot of the uh, town already so it's really not going to take long to, to finish that search. Might be able to do it in one day. Uh, but so it's now time for Alexi to head back to base. Does not want to be out and about in the dark. 
Okay, well, Alex is absolutely surrounded by huge, huge tower blocks, which has given him the heebie jeebies. It could just any, yeah, I mean, you can hear that bang, and it could just any moment, yeah, pour out. A load of zombies could just pour out of the building. Things could start to heat up. Yeah, the zombies are kind of coming out of nowhere now, just as it gets dark. Now the zombies decide that they're going to try and try and get Alexi. We've got five or six zombies. And that, that, I mean, it's so quiet just a moment ago. And then all of a sudden, kind of almost out of nowhere, it feels like there's zombies everywhere. It's time for a chill pill. Okay, well, Alexi's got about eight or nine zombies. I mean, it just changed so quickly. Slowly walking back. Uh, to uh, the safety of that doctor surgery on the edge of town. We need, I think we need to get a hand torch. We can see what is going on. Okay, well, all of a sudden, Alexi's got quite a lot of work to do. And we've got another zombie up ahead. So it's just crazy how things have just changed from feeling really straightforward, almost too easy to, uh, yeah, life-threatening. And Alexis just, yeah, gone into a dead end. That's fine. Oof. Alexis is just too scared to run at the moment. He really doesn't want to run and s uh, s slip over, and then it's all over. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Oof. Sometimes you just got to run. I do with a couple of these zombies going down. Start to make things a little bit easier for Alexi. Okay, so we picked up another zombie. Where did all of these zombies come from? I think probably what's happened is that they've seen Alexi walk by and it's taken them a while to break out. And there's another zombie. They were so quiet and now there's just, yeah, zombies absolutely everywhere. Okay, would you look at that? I mean, what the hell? There's so many zombies. They're quite spread out. So I think for the moment, Alexi's is gonna try and take them out because they're not that far away from base. So let's see if we can do this. Okay, Alexi first needs to have a smoke. He's absolutely a nervous wreck. I mean, who can blame him? I don't think it's safe to run, try and lose this horde, and I don't think uh, it's safe to leave them either, because I think they're quite near base. Man, this is this is all of a sudden get really hard. Okay, let's see if we can actually start to thin out this horde. Although Alexis is gonna have to take another beta blocker. And that torch is about to lose battery as well, so sometimes. It just feels like this game is out to get you. It puts you in a trap, lulls you into false sense of security. Okay, finally, we're starting to thin down the hall. That's five or six zombies taken out. Make that seven. Okay, well, there's that torch gone out, but fortunately, it is not completely pitch black. And I think as long as Alex is careful, then he can do this. It's just wearing them down, taking them down a couple at a time. And hopefully not picking up any more. And there's that tiredness now just kicked in. I was just thinking how good it is that Alex is not tired. And that's just going to make things even a little bit harder. Oof, almost got surrounded. And now... The exertion's kicking in. So let's let's see if we can pop some vitamin pills. Get rid of that tiredness. Okay, well what was I thinking? I've got a super powerful weapon in the backpack. I think this is that time where the katana is required. Uh, we've popped a couple of vitamin pills so we're not quite so tired. But we've got that exertion. And that one is already starting to get worn out. But there we go. This was definitely the time for the katana. Absolutely. Okay. 
Man, that made such a massive difference. I think we've left some zombies behind. I think we've still got a couple of dozen. Uh, so, uh, well, a good dozen. Let's retrace our steps and uh, finish clearing the area, I guess. Okay, that poor zombie did not know what hit him. Okay, well, that appears to be it. That katana really made such a massive difference. We'll switch back to the police baton. And let's get back to base. Okay, so we're back to the relative safety of the doctor's surgery. Let's get upstairs out of sight. I don't think we were followed. Alexis made quite a mark already in town. He must have taken out over a hundred zombies. And boy, that katana really, really was a good find. That really kind of, well, it, it kind of saved Alexis' life, didn't it? Really, things just went from being a bit dicey to uh, strolling the park just with that katana. Awesome. Okay, well, I think that is it. There's not been any banging, so there weren't any zombies still following Alexi back here. So I think we're safe to sleep for the night and shouldn't expect to be disturbed. Alexi's having a smoke. He certainly earned it. And, uh, yeah, we are on the road. Nomad lifestyle. Who knows what we're going to find, what adventures Alexi's going to have. At some point, he will find somewhere to lay his hat and call home. But who knows when that will be. Certainly not in this town, but we're going to continue to loot it. Hopefully find some really useful supplies, food, medical supplies, clothes, armor, weapons. It's all still needed. Uh, but for today, that is going to have to be all. Smash that like button, comment, sub if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you can keep up to date with the series. 14 episodes in one month in. Alex is doing okay. Peace.